long. I don't know how many minutes that damn thing said I had, but I'm back. I don't need to do the greeting. Y'all know what it is. Good evening, all that stuff. Good morning. You know what I always say. Anyway, jumping straight on to it. Mr. St. Thomas, thank you for this clip. I'm going to use this right quick. Let's get into it. Let's be real. You feel what I'm saying? Let's be real. And a, a man has every right to chastise his woman, but not in the world that you live in. And that's why you all are dead. 85% of the world is dead because they don't understand reality or how it truly is. Oh, 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 I think it's a little blank. Give it a second. Give it a second to catch up. I might have to pause it. I don't want to use too much time. Let's see. American woman, 95% of African American women hate black men. Point blank. We'll get right back to it. Now, ninety five percent of African American women are trained to hate black men. Okay, Mr. Nature Boy. Nasty boy. Nasty. Nasty boy. Don't know a thing. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, you nasty boy. Ugh. That's how that's what I think of. Nasty ass nigga. Where the fuck you get this motherfucking statistic? Please tell me. Can you? Can you run that by us? Can you run the facts to us, sir? Or just some shit you making up as you go? Because I don't know where you get that figure from. But I, let me tell you what I do know. Black women don't hate, 95% of us don't hate black men, nigga. Or it wouldn't be mm, any more black people probably by now if we hated you like that. Because we wouldn't let you touch us. If it was only 5% of black women who even love black men, really, nigga, do you think we would still be populating the way we are? Do you think they would be taking their time to do all the shit they do to continuously break up our home? Now, what I will agree with you on is that it was a system built for us to hate or break apart our family. Duh, we all know that. We all know that from back in the day when we were slaves and they would sell off family members and the husband and send him over here and send the mother there and take the child and resell them. So we know the house has been broken down, duh. And we know the stem, I, I can never say that fucking word. Is it systemically? That's it, I can never, oh, get that out. It aggravates the shit out of me. But systemically, the system is built to continuously break our homes apart. We know this, motherfucker. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. When one of y'all get shot, when you are wronged, nigga, we are the first ones on the line out here picketing, protesting, going to school to be lawyers so that we can fight for you. Fight for your neck. Oh, I ain't gonna say your nasty ass, but fight for our men who are locked up. Stay beside them, nigga. Proof right here. Proof right the fuck here. So don't tell me what the fuck we do. What the fuck do you do? Nigga, women might hate you. See, that's about you, nasty boy. That's about you, baby. Yes. It ain't about all black men. Because with a black man like you, who wouldn't hate you? You talk about dominating your woman. Nigga, what is felt and understood don't need to be said. You don't have to rule with brutal force. A true man as you are, because you always bring up what a man is. That's how I can tell that you're a boy. You're not a man yet. But a true man just handles his business he handles his business. He take care of his family. He don't leave a bunch of single mothers. Because, nigga, how many single mothers do you got running around here now? How many black women have met, you have made single parents? But you always talking about the single black parent. Yet you're making them. <laughs> nigga, you can't keep fucking, you keep getting all these wives. Like, 
your definition of polygamy is so fucked up and misconstrued. When you take on a wife, you can't just disown that wife next week, nigga. Once you take her home, and you can't even support them. You asking us in Babylon, as you continue to say over and over again, our lower, your lower selves to send you money to support your fucking family, nigga. So we, we real demons? So you using demon money to feed your family? Because you damn sure can't support them on your own. Because anything that requires hard work, your lazy ass ain't trying to do. There's some pimp shit you learned when you was in the nut house. That's what happened. I'm talking about you was around some real OGs. Real OGs. Nigga, you was around some scam artists that taught you how to run your motherfucking mouth and get what you want. That's what the fuck happened. Except you're not that good at it. And the black women who sit in this goddamn chat lusting over this dirty ass man. Babies, I'm going to need y'all to get some self-esteem about your goddamn selves. Because he's sitting there talking pure shit about black women. Yet, yeah, most of his money comes from who? Yeah, that's right. Black women. Black single women. But y'all just let this nigga talk about you like that. Y'all accept what the fuck he's telling you. Why? Why? He's not credible. How is he credible? When in every other fucking video, matter of fact, in the same live, he'll say something and 30 minutes later, for 30 minutes later, forget he even said that shit and it'll be something totally different. So how you even take him seriously? Who are you following? Y'all just marching off a goddamn cliff willingly. You ain't even blindfolded. I don't even know how much RAM I got. If this motherfucker just stop, it just stop because I'll, I'll fucking rent for it. Ooh, but I wanted to finish this other, this black lady that got on here. Ooh, let me. I just want to say, Queen Sean, thank you for last night. I couldn't bring um, Latanya Jones's um, live back last night to see Trying why to I was talked story. about. But thank you for sticking up for me. Thank you very much. Much respect okay. to you. Right there. Let's go right there. Did you kick me? He said, yeah, I kicked him. I said, what the hell? I'm proud. So now he's sitting there acting like he kicked me off. 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 He kicked He said, black women are sick in the head. Y'all might have just missed that because this paused. But. You are sick. They drink the hate. Black men. Nature boy, you are the sick motherfucker. Honestly, you you are the real sick motherfucker. And you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And you want to say that people, if it was, we don't, we look past the greatness to see your flaws. What greatness, babe? That baby, y'all, that baby really think he is so great. The thing is, you might could be great if that evil in you was washed away. You see, that evil in you is fucking you all up and it's distorting your motherfucking uh, reality. You want to swear every goddamn thing ain't real. You want to swear you ain't in the system, nigga. If they came in there, wherever the fuck you at, if them Chicanos came in there right motherfucking now and told your ass you had to get up at their hotel, your ass would have to get up and you would have to motherfucking go. So you still in the system, you goddamn self. Until your mangy ass get out into the wilderness for real. For real. Until you build your own shit in some wood some motherfucking where till I see you chopping down a motherfucking tree till I see you making a hut till I see you growing your food instead of going to the grocery goddamn store nigga you the same as us what are you talking about you just wrap some shit around your head and get on here babbling and thank you the Christ no boo you a false goddamn on prophet and they come a dime a dozen right now you can find them anywhere. You can find them on Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube. Find everybody that swear they are the truth, the light, 
and everything. No, you're not. You're dark. You're dark. Just like you. They don't give a damn about you, black man. They don't have respect for you, black man, because they don't need you. How can I respect somebody I don't need? You don't need that man. Well, it appears to me that you don't need that man, so how can you respect them? I didn't say all black men. I said 95 percent. Well, you go with this 95 percent. He done pulled that his ass. 95 percent. And it ain't about what we don't need. We, of course we need our black men. We need our black men to stand up and be leaders. The leader you're trying to be, you're not. You're faking it. And we can all see through the shit. Well, not all of us. Because unfortunately, you do have that 5%. <laughs> that 5% that follow and support your dumb ass. So I suggest you quit talking shit about the black women because them the ones who support you. You want to say those are your haters? Uh, those are also your supporters. But the black women that are following him, I'm going to need y'all to clean your goddamn ears out. I'm going to need you to go get your eyes checked. Your comprehension level is it? I don't know if you are at, you know, the right IQ level to understand that you are being manipulated. Take your dumb ass over there if you want to. Take your ass over there if you want to. You want to be ruled by someone so bad? Why? I'm He's going to keep saying that shit to make it true. He sound like fucking Umar. I really want to get on Vic Whack ass coming on here. No way. I really do. I think I'm going to do a separate one on him. He a strong man, but as soon as he starts taking control, he starts screaming at you. Exactly. I got to pin that one right here. Yeah, this is the woman. Let me get the hug real quick for this hand. Yo, I'm on line with you, bro. I'm going to pin that comment. He was a strong man, but as soon as he starts to take control, they start to scream at abuse. That's a fact. You're not allowed to be a man, you're not allowed to raise your voice, you're not allowed to take control, you're not allowed to, you know, but every other man is. What about you? In the middle of here, it ain't just a woman either, the woman that are just responding to what the fuck going on with us, because... We ain't standing up. And we ain't on our shit here. You know what I'm saying? Because the men need to do their thing too. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Bring her on up. Come on. The men need, Let's hear her the men need to get these something to aim and men need boys. <laughs> I'm looking a mess, but it's okay. Hi. What'd you say? I said I'm looking a mess, but it's okay. I'm natural. Hi. It's all good. It's all good. You said something. You said something really real. Well. You said they want a real man, but as soon as a man starts taking control, they scream at the news. Yeah. They be like, why? Um. Why are you not getting upset about that? Or why are you? You not? Um. You're not being more forceful. But as soon as he say, come here, girl, it's like, uh-uh, you gotta go. I don't like you. Okay, Miss uh, Shirley. Don't she look like Shirley? She like a Shirley or Phyllis, don't she? Listen here, Shirley Phyllis. You sound, listen, first of all, you look old enough to know better than the dumb shit you just said. I don't know if you're in an abusive relationship or been in one or you're in one now or if that's all you know. But, mm, yeah, the shit you just said was false. Absolutely false. And you sound real crazy out here. You're looking like a whole goddamn fool. When he say, come here, girl, you're like, uh-uh, I don't like you. Huh? <laughs> huh? No, my, my love, listen, let me, let me help you out here. Yes, we do. Well, I ain't going to say all of us because we're all different. But a woman does want a man to be the head of the household. Yes, absolutely. But if a man is abusive, 
meaning he's putting you down verbally. You know what I'm saying? He's putting his hands on you. So we not so if we want a strong man, but he goes overboard and we do say it's abuse, we're wrong for saying it's abuse. I'm not sure, Shirley Phyllis. Is that what you're saying? See, you you're not you're not making sense. A man raising his voice doesn't equal abuse, duh. Now you can get some crazy females out here and you can get some crazy niggas, i.e. Elagio. And you have to deal with the circumstances and the situation, situations, God damn, it's late, situations <laughs> as they come. But you sound real crazy. So like the reason is because there's an option. You know what I mean? And, and so we talk about commitment in relationships. Black women want commitment. But they don't crack and they don't roll as mothers and wives. You know. We don't commit in our roles as mothers and wives. Who told you that? Where where did that come from? Nigga, we are the most loyal. The most loyal. A lot of times to our own detriment. Nigga, you, yeah, what the fuck? You like right now, it's what I said earlier, your supporters are mostly black women. And that ain't helping them out in any, in any way. I ain't never seen you give back to any goddamn body. You swear you're giving knowledge. No, you're not. You're confusing motherfuckers. And you leading people astray, unfortunately. You ain't helping them ground they self or find they self. You confusing the fuck out of them. That's what you're doing. Everybody that leave you doing so much better. They look better. They sound better. You know, they deprogramming themselves. It's a shame you have, we're already programmed here in the United States with so many, with the TV, with the music, you know, every, every angle. And then you get a black man who wants to indoctrinate people even further. So then they have to leave your dumb ass and try to deprogram themselves from the dumb shit you have taught them. And they got to try to filter out through all the bullshit you said and try to find the seeds. Fuck around to find the wrong seed and plant that motherfucker. Then you got what? Poison ivy growing. So now your whole goddamn garden fucked up because you done planted a seed that your dumb ass laid and that wasn't the right seed. So they have to deprogram themselves from the fucking bullshit we have to deal with in the United States and then they have to deprogram themselves from a black man. So who's really the motherfucking problem? Who's really the tyrant? Who's really the disease? Is it really black women, Elagio? Or is it you? Listen here, Shirley Phyllis. Baby girl, don't call him no more, honey. You too old to be getting led off the cliff. You really too old for that shit. You should be able to filter through bullshit easily. I know I'm younger than you, and I can see all through it. Maybe you got on your goggles. You know what I'm saying? Maybe your eyes ain't focused, but I'm going to need you to clean them bitches out. Okay? Yeah, I think I've had enough of Elagio for the night. I can't hear like another. I can't hear his voice no more tonight. But that damn part with Mr. Ooh, what Dino Dynomite, Mr. Dynomite. Ooh, God, that that was very. Oh, God, I know y'all synced it. I know y'all synced it. It was right after this dude right here. I ain't gonna even play too much of it. I'm gonna get into him tomorrow. But let's just, just let's just hear the stank intro. The stank intro. We just have to start right there because again. At the same time, start to grow your own shit and so that you're sustainable and getting solar panels, so that you're sustainable without that system at all. That's the move. This nigga talks about some shit he don't even do himself. Oh, Lord. 
<laughs> and those are your followers. Dumb, deaf, blind. You got to do what you can do. You can't worry. You can't be a follower. Don't got to help We got to help our people, though, bro. I hope that dude keep that. He going to let this dumb nigga tell him not to. Oh, my God. Your people survive because you survive. Because you are your people. You are your people. You are your people. Okay, let's get on the dumb dumb. Come on, come on. You really cared about your people. Why don't you want to make sure that you survive? Because your people will survive if you survive because you are your people. Okay, hang up. Get on with the dumb dumb. What you do, your people are doing. So why do you have to constantly your people? You are your people. You suck dumb as hell, bitch, boy. Why do you have to constantly your people? Why do you have to I cannot get to this damn thing. Oh, my finger won't let me get that. It drives me nuts. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, it's driving me crazy. Come on. St. You know John, St. Croix, okay, Puerto Rico. Yeah, man, you still saying we in Babylon? Right, St. <laughs> like this nigga ain't in Babylon. The Mexican. That's what I don't get. <laughs> Listen so to this disgusting voice. Come on. Listen to him. Come on. Listen to him. US Virgin Islands. I'm still in Babylon. Come on. Come on. Got to go to bed on this one. Come on. Let's get it. 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 Hey, let's get it. Let's get it. Mm. Mm. Hey, oh, oh. Ah. come on, come on, come on, come on, give it to me. What up? Oh, my Ugh. man, Chief, what's happening? Oh, my gosh. Oh. Lord of mercy. <laughs> Saint said, Lord of mercy. I'm that old boomba clad boy, come on, talking about... I'm feeling great, man. I'm glad you're doing all right. You're looking good. Listen looking to the healthy. flipped. Hell, he flipped on the you FOM. The you was last time. He said, fuck <laughs> the FOM. <laughs> I'm carbonation. I am dying. No might. Look, I don't what you're doing, but damn, bro. Come on, dude. I just check in with you, man. Come on, man. I'm glad to see you doing good. I'm glad to see you healthy. I don't say I'm glad to see you happy. I see him fighting that boy. He is he sick. Hard. He is sick. Sucking it. I mean, he's sucking him off good. I can't even, I don't even feel like trying to find this damn shit. It's driving me crazy. Yeah, yeah. Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's see. He said, if it wasn't for you, you know, my my family hey, slaughters sick. animals. I look, bro, I don't forget the sickness. You know what I'm saying? I don't like being sick. I ain't one of these cases. You know, who'd like to be thrown up to the top. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. So thank you, Chief. I owe you a thank you, man. I appreciate I can help, man. That's what, that's what thank you, my you. chief. Thank you. Bro, Give an honor to you. You know what? Next move, next move for Mr. Vic Die No Might by nature. His next statement when he gonna open up for y'all, whoever subbed to him, because I ain't subbed to him. I watched him a few times when he was supposedly F O N. But yeah, I just I got that feeling. I get this gut feeling and I was going with it. I said I ain't I'm not touching that sub button. I'ma watch this nigga for a minute. And show sure enough. Show sure enough. Nigga flipped the whole motherfucking script. Flipped the whole motherfucking script. So the next time y'all hear him, he gonna come on and say, give an honor to Master Chief Elijah the Christ, Lord and Savior of my life on this earth, US Babylon Earth plane. Yeah, that'll be his next intro. Look out for it. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming.